Okay, what I'm going to show you in this video is how to try out a different operating system on your Windows computer. In this case, it's going to be a version of Linux, and I'm going to show you how to put it on your computer to try it out without actually changing anything permanently with your system. So at the end of the day, if you don't like it, if you're not happy with it, you just switch off your computer and you're back to normal. Okay, so for this, we're going to need a few things. You're going to need a, win a computer running Windows, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8. You're going to need access to the internet. You're also going to need uh, either Google Chrome or Firefox browser. Both of these are free. You can download them. It won't take more than a couple of minutes. And finally, you're going to need a USB memory stick, a minimum of two gigabytes of free space. Uh, right, so the version we're going to use today is called Zorin OS. And we're going to be using the latest version, OS 8. As you can see, it's uh, very slick, very nice. And it's designed especially for those people coming from a Windows environment. So there's not much of a shock. Now, first things first, what we're going to do is we need to go to this site. It's called Linux. Oh, sorry, pendrivelinux.com. We're going to a universal USB installer. Don't worry, I'll put up the link later. And we're going to, as you see on this page, it shows you how to create a USB installer stick from your flash drive, which sounds very technical, but in fact, it's incredibly easy if you follow these steps. Now, first thing we're going to do, it explains you there as well, but I'm going to walk you through it. And the first thing we're going to need to do is download the UUI, this blue box. So I'm going to click on the blue box and we're going to install, install the program. It's in about one megabyte, so it shouldn't take very long. Okay, and I'm going to click on that. And here we go, we can say yes. I agree. And it tells you this is what you're going to get. And this is basically the program that let you install the stuff we're going to need for later. Now, if you do change, if you do want to change your Linux or try different kind of Linux, there's many, many different kinds, as you can see on this menu, you can use this program again in the game. Okay, um, there are hundreds of different varieties of Linux, each of them designed for different purposes. Some are designed to be as close to Windows as possible in style and in functionality. Others are designed to be as quick and as fast and as stripped down as possible. I think of it as a vehicle analogy. Some are designed to be buses, some are designed to be high-speed motorbikes, etc., etc. Okay, the version we set was Zorin, so we're going to go down to the bottom of the list because it begins with a Z. Okay, there we go, Zorin OS. Okay, now that will tell us where to go. Now we have to download the actual operating system itself. Now the easiest way to do it is click that little box here which says download link. Launch the Zorin OS download link, let the download finish before moving to step one, two. So basically it'll download it for you. Okay, so I click yes and it'll take me to this page, Zorin, free versions of Zorin OS. Now you have two versions, the most up to date is Zorin OS 8. An older version and a lighter version is Zorin OS 6 LTS. LTS means long term support, which means people are continuing to write software and update it and improve it. Now I'm going to choose the more modern version. <clears throat> and as you see, the little red stuff, it says you should be using Google Chrome or Google Fox. I'm using Google Chrome for this. You may choose to use the other one. Okay, and here we go. We've got a lot of different choices. And it says here, Google Zorin OS 8.1 Core Standard Desktop, blah, blah, blah. you've got either 32-bit or 64-bit choice, or you can just send off $6 more or less, and get them to send you the DVD. Now, the first thing you have to do is decide whether you've got 32-bit or 64-bit computer. Now, Windows, what you should do is do this. You go to Start, go to Computer, right-click there, and go down to Property. Okay, and it should give you at the bottom, it says System Type 32-bit Operating System. And then you just click on one of these. Now, I'm not going to do it. As you see, it's a hefty download. It's 1.5 gigabytes for the 32-bit, 1.6 for the 64 gigabytes. Well, I've already done that, so I'm not going to bother going through it again. So I imagine we're going to go back here and, and, and just go to where it says Browse. 
I'm going to find it, and it should be in my download file. And what I'm looking for is an orange CD looking like icon. There we go. Zorn OS. There, click. And I'm going to click open. Okay. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, tell the computer which drive to put it on, which USB drive. So click on that third box, which says step three. It says UUI 7 gigabyte. Fine. Click on that. Oh, just do yourself a favor. Press the format box, just in case you've got an older version. Maybe you've done this more than once, like I have done this over the last few days. You might have an older or another version of Linux, and you have two there. It might uh, get confused. So you click that. Also, of course, if you do have any data you want to keep on your memory stick, make sure you've saved it somewhere else. Okay, and then you press create. Now, I'm not going to do that because I already have done that before, and it takes a rather long time. And this will take approximately 10 minutes. And at the end of it, you're going to have this screen here. You'll, you'll say what it says. Your process is complete. You just press close, take out your USB stick, and it's ready. What you do next will be the subject of my next video. So I'm going to show you how to put it on your computer and how to set up a boot up disk and how to try out this computer. Again, this is just trying it out. You will not change anything in your computer. You will not lose anything. And if you feel a little bit, if you don't feel happy with this, you can just simply switch off the computer, pull out the USB stick, and the next time you switch it on, it'll be a Windows computer. I've done this maybe 20, 30 times with this particular computer, never ever had a problem. So you're not risking anything at all.